Well, hello from my new vehicle. Oh my gosh. So before I get into the SUV tour, what I want to show you guys and go back on memory lane is how I got to this point. So I bought this 1991 Ford Aerostar and I built it out with my dad. We had everything in it, a solar powered system and it had a stove, a sink, a fridge, everything you can need. And I went camping in it a lot. I traveled all around Kentucky. I traveled the bordering states. I went up to or down to Florida. I went to New York and everything in between. And I really enjoyed learning the van life lifestyle. I enjoyed making content out of it and I enjoyed where it took me. So I was enjoying it until I started realizing maybe I put a little bit too much money into such an old vehicle. And as a female who likes to travel alone, I started to get really anxious about it. I started getting scared because I went to Florida one time with a friend and the wheel almost fell off. So I took it to the mechanic because we started noticing it was wobbling. And he said, wow, your wheel was super close to falling off and he fixed it for me. And ever since that happened, I sort of got in my head about the whole van life thing in such an old vehicle, 1991. And I wanted something reliable because it started getting to the point where I couldn't even drive a few hours without feeling like I was going to break down on the highway alone. And I just, like I said, just got really in my head about it. And that made me want to sell it and get a reliable vehicle. So it was pretty hard to let go of this vehicle because me and my dad put in so much work in it. But I talked to my dad and he understood. And I think it was time for me to get a reliable vehicle that I could drive around and not have to worry about breaking down. So I did make the hard decision to sell it. And I bought a Nissan Sentra. And this is how we got to this point right here. So I bought the Nissan Sentra, which was just a small car. It was all I could afford at the time. And it was very nice to have something that was reliable. It got me to, or from Kentucky to North Dakota, which is 20 hours or something of driving and I didn't worry at all. And I used it as a vehicle to kind of go to Airbnbs or travel to see people and it was very reliable so I liked the safety part of that and I booked an Airbnb to Montana and I was on my way in my Nissan Sentra and I hit a deer going 65 miles per hour and it was a sad day the deer died I totaled my car I no longer had the vehicle um, and I had to cancel the Montana trip so I got back home and I was out of car. I got money from the insurance and it was a paid off car. So I got quite a bit of money because the car market actually increased since I bought the car. So I got more money than what I paid for it. And now I had this large sum of money, not only from selling my Louisville house and moving to North Dakota, but also from totaling my car. So. I enjoyed the reliability of the Nissan Sentra and I enjoyed the van for the adventure side, the spontaneous, adventurous possibilities that come with owning something that you can sleep in the back of. So I thought how perfect would it be if I combine the two and that's how I ended up with this SUV. We'll start with the front of the vehicle. It is leather interior. It looks very sporty. Here's the stereo and the controls, the clock, there's heat and air of course, and the seats actually have heaters in them, which will be nice for the winter. Here's the steering wheel, and then the controls on the door. Something really cool about this is that there are two sunroofs. Here's the one in the front. and then just a pan of it all. Really, really like the interior of this vehicle. And now here is the back. I did put the seats up just so you guys can see what it looks like with them up. And then here is the sunroof in the back, which is huge. It's gonna be awesome to have whenever I'm sleeping back here, just to look up at the stars or whatever I have above me. It is a three row, four door SUV. The front, middle, and back row 
along with some storage in the back. All these seats go down perfectly flat and I'll show you guys that since that is how I'm going to be driving around once I convert it. So I'm going to go in the back and show you the storage. I would get out and show you but it's very windy so it messes with the sound. So this is the back seat and behind here is just a little bit of storage. So now what I'm going to do is put down all the seats. Let me see if I remember how. One seat down. Two seats down. Three seats down. Boom. It is so big back here. I hope you guys can notice on camera. Here it is. I want to show you all how big the back is. I don't think the camera does it justice. So I'm five, six and a half, five, seven. I'm able to sit back here very comfortably and I have a lot of room in front of me right now. So here's me laying down. I can lay diagonal very comfortably. I can lay in a straight line and still have like two feet of room. And it is perfect. So this build's gonna be different. I'm not gonna screw anything or make anything permanent, but it is gonna be a fun build. I have so many ideas in my head and I'm very, very excited about it. So. Hopefully you guys enjoy this journey, the house journey, all of it. I am posting every single week on YouTube, so it should be fun. Hit that subscribe button if you want to follow along. And yeah, we'll see where this thing takes me. I also forgot to show this. There is a screen back here. Not sure exactly what it like how to use it because there I don't see a DVD player or anything like that so I'm gonna have to look into that more when I start getting into the build and learning about this vehicle. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week.